Greetings to all. So in this video, we'll be learning about the MATLAB Simulink library and we'll be exploring the library and then we'll be learning about how to decide which solver is good and how to uh, see the solver settings. So as you can see, the MATLAB Simulink environment is shown here and the file name is untitled because I haven't saved it. So in the top left, you can see library options. So I will be clicking the library options and here the library opens. So in the library, the left hand side is the is a part where you use uh, like we are using the simulink. So there are or another uh, uh, types of module or the uh, which you can use like uh, some of them. Uh, some of them are deep learning toolbox which are used during the deep learning problems, fuzzy logic toolbox. Also, there are RF uh, radio frequency block sets and there are multiple things here, but we will be focusing on two. We will be focusing on Simulink, which are important for the point of view of uh, any uh, engineer uh, going for mathematical modeling. And second is important from the point of view of electrical engineer is Simscape. So in Simscape, you can see here, there is a, uh, under Simscape, there is electrical. Here in electrical, you can file, find all the conductors, all the elements, all the loads here and you can use them to build a electrical model. So for this video, we will be limited to the Simulink section. In Simulink section, under Simulink section, there are many things like commonly used blocks, continuous blocks, discrete blocks, logical operators and, and a bit operations lookup table, math operations like uh, bias, mod, add, subtract like that. And uh, there are also sync sources. Sources mean like clock is a source, like constant is a source. So uh, we can use them to build a, any mathematical model. So we'll be going to the commonly used block and suppose we can have a, a gain. So we'll be clicking right click. So as we click the right click on the element, it shows on the top add block to the model untitled. So this is add block to the model untitled. So I am adding block and it will be added in the it will be added here. Here. Here you can see I have clicked two times, so it will be added two times. So these are the gain. Any input will be multiplied by the gain. Again, let us go to the library and we select we select a product. So either I can right click and send it to the untitled model or I can click it, drag it and bring here. So this is the second method. Okay. Another method is suppose I want to use a source and this is a constant and I want to bring constant here. So either I can do right click and click here or I can drag and drop here. But there is another method. If you already know what is the element name you want, you can directly uh, minimize it and double tap on the MATLAB Simulink model and you can write const. The first three letter will suggest what you want. So on the top it is uh, suggesting that uh, if you want constant, and we want constant, so I will be clicking here. So it can bring like this. Suppose I want another block of constant. So what I can do? I can copy paste it. I can do copy paste. This is a copy and I can paste here. Okay. This is a one method. Another method which is easy in case of MATLAB is you can click on the right button of mouse and you can drag like this. So this you can do. So we don't need this. We are closing it. Another thing I need is a scope to see the output or the input. So I'm double clicking here and I'm seeing scope. Scope is a element which you can see the waveforms. So I am clicking here and I want to see input also. So I can open it. I can open it and here it is written file 
and file uh, it is written number of input so i need three inputs so it will be giving me three inputs so on the first input i'll be taking input one through gain and the multiplication so i am adding this what i am doing is i am taking two constant values i am multiplying them with a the gain and then multiplying both the values and i am seeing all the results here so what i am doing is first input is 1 let's say the constant 1 is named a and constant 2 is named b this is a gain 1 so i will be writing g1 this is gain 2 I will writing G two. So constant, the value of constant one is one. The value of constant two can be changed from here. I can write two, three, and the gain one is one. So I can write gain here two, and let's keep gain two as one. So what should be the result? Result should be if the model gets minimized, you can uh, maximize from this button fit to view. So what I can do is. i can already calculate this is a easy problem 1 into 2 it will give you 2 so here uh, the answer should be coming to 2 so the answer here here the answer should be coming to and here the answer should come 3 then after multiplication 3 into 2 should be coming what should be coming here 6 okay so i'll be uh, playing the okay i'll be uh, doing the run command so that this model is running uh, in the bottom you can see compiling and it has already been this is being paused i will do the continue and this is done so what i can see here i will be going to the first is the output and rest two are the input so i can see here the time is 10 second and i can see here the values are shown here one value is 2 another is 3 and another is 6 okay so this can be seen also if you want to see the value you can use display display shows the correct value of the if i again run it so here you can see the value is 6 similarly i can use here and i can again run it so here value is 3 and here will the value will come 2 so now the second part which is model setting so as you can see the model is model setting shows on the bottom right so this is auto and variable step discrete so if i want to change this means that the step size the matlab simulation is taking is variable so i can fix the step size as in most cases in or uh, electrical cases the step size is usually fixed and i can use any of the solver so say i use od1 ordinary differential equation 1 and step size i will be defining so i will not be keeping auto i will be keeping 1 e minus 6 or i can do anything okay this solver problem we will be learning in detail uh, further but uh, at currently you should be knowing that solver can be of two type fixed type and the variable type variable type is good for general purpose thing but for most of the electrical problem we will be going with the fixed type and step size can vary depending on your problem it can be 1 millisecond 1 microsecond or even the nanosecond the step size the step size of the calculation the matlab uses that time period for one calculation okay so meanwhile uh, this is a video uh, which explores how you can use library how you can drag and drop the elements from the library and how you can see a basic model okay so i will not be saving this thank you for uh, the video